Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So a new feature is coming in 25H2 and it is to improve the Windows 11 security. It's something we've been confronted pretty much in the past and people found it annoying, but yet um, many operating systems actually use this as a security and uh, Mac OS, for example, on Apple does that. Um, by default, what's going to happen is that even if you are an admin and use administrative rights when you create your account on Windows 11, one of the things that's going to happen is that it's going to um, lower your privileges. And the reason why is that administrative rights means every app, every code that you click on, everything you want to do is always at the top level. So if something bad is to happen, it's going to happen because it's can't, it's not stopped and you don't know that maybe you clicked on something that shouldn't be. Uh, same with if somebody else uses your PC. That's why as a tech guy, I always told everyone, if you have more than one person using the PC, you should put everybody else as a standard user, not as an admin. Um, so if you remember Windows Vista, there's a lot of these going on. The user account control was annoying for a lot of people. I remember as a tech guy having a lot of people tell me, can you turn this off so that it doesn't bother me anymore? Technically, it was not a good idea, but people wanted that. And even though I did explain, they were so annoyed by it that they just couldn't. So, uh, well, something similar is coming in 25H2, and it will be called administrative prompts um, or administrative control. And that means that you will be automatically, when you actually get... Um, your PC deprivileged, if you want to call it that way. And the reason is that the administrative protection or administrator protection will want you to have a little prompt like that appear every time you actually create an action that could be a problem that requires admin rights. So Microsoft says it's going to do that because it will put the user f faced with decisions it's taking and see them and have control over do you want or not this to happen or this to go through. Um, unfortunately, the big problem with that and administrator protection is that a lot of people have no idea if yes or no, they should say yes or no to something and that is the reason why it might be annoying for a lot of people. But then again, it is technically a way to try to make users safer. So um, we'll see you at 25H2. Of course, there will be all the tricks in the world to uh, disable it. But administrator protection is coming, and that means there will be a return of little prompts. Now, I'm sure they're not going to be as bad as Windows Vista Vista and the prompts all the time popping up for everything, and it was really, really annoying. Here, it's probably going to be dosed to be there only in important uh, elevation of privilege, so in important moments where, yeah, you need to be an admin temporarily to run this app or to install this app. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see what, uh, how, how it's going to, um, you know, get attention of the users and how users are going to react with this return of, you know, a administrator protection uh, pop-up. Do you think it's a good idea? Um, I think it's a good idea, but the problem is, is we're never used to that in Windows, so people tend to not like the fact that there'll be ask a question uh, from time to time. We'll see. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.